Hello fellow engineers and welcome to Satisfactory, one of the most requested games on my channel. But why haven't I done any videos on it until now you might ask? Well, as you guys know, the YouTube algorithm is a beast which cannot be tamed. There's always a risk that everything I've built could just vanish in an instant. But I have engineered a solution that not only adds stability to the channel and all those I employ and support, but also gives you, the viewer, a chance to decide exactly what games I make content in. I'm now offering weekly bonus videos on Patreon that are voted for by the Patreon supporters, with the high levels of support being able to nominate which games get added to the vote. And since Satisfactory won the first vote, I'll be doing a long series on it, with a video releasing once a week to those Patreons. Then, once we get to a point where it's time to change the game, the Patreon supporters will vote for the next one. This is a great way of seeing longer series from me, as I don't have to worry about that pesky YouTube algorithm not liking it. Plus, those that join now get access to a catalogue of over 20 videos. So head to patreon.com forward slash real civil engineer and allow me and my editors to worry less and create more. Anyway, let's get on with Satisfactory. So we're going to start a new game in the grass fields because I'm a noob. Session name needs to be at least three characters. Strange request that one. Start the game. All right, so we're on, are we on like a ride in Disneyland or something? We've got the old, hey, we've got the strongest shape in front of us. Oh, the screen came down and blocked it. All right, nice little Jurassic Park style telling me what to do thing. I'm back looking at the knob. I assume everyone can see that, right? Uh, why is it shaking? Why is it on fire? It's got a burning tip. It's got a burning tip. Um, I suddenly don't like this ride very much. This place is shaking like anything. So are we like falling towards a planet or earth or oh are they clouds? Wait what the? Was that meant to just pop up like that? I don't know it looks like we're landing. What the frig is that flying in the background? All right, let's get that off my head. Let's pull this down so we can get outside. There's the door open. So grab that whatever that is and then uh off we pop. So here we are on the planet. That's what we that's what we crashed down on. So we got to dismantle that. Thank you very much. All right so looking in my inventory I have the like body shape of a Teletubby for some reason. I think I can take this Zeno Zapper and shove it in my hands, right? Yeah, there it is. There it is. So the question is, what do we what do we go zap with this? I can only scan for iron, apparently. Fair enough. Where's the iron at? Where's the iron at? Oh, there's loads this way. What the frig is that? Why does that whale have legs? Okay, this game is a little bit terrifying. I'm not going to lie. But aha, we have found some iron. So press and hold E to pick up. Okay, so we just like chisel it off. Got it. All right, so we've got to build our hub now. So we can press Q, build a hub. And oh my goodness, this thing moves fast. I mean, I guess we'll just wang it there. Okay, so we have a hub. We need to upgrade it. I guess we've got to come over to these things. So configure the terminal. For the upgrade, we need... We need what's down here. Milestone cost, we need 10 iron rods. Producing constructor or craft bench. So behind me, this is the craft bench. So select recipe. We've gone with the iron ingot. We've got to craft that first. So I just literally hold this button until we make a load of iron ingots. So just like that, all my iron ore is now an iron ingot. I can then create some rods. So do I need to make 10. And then we come back to this thing. We say, I'm going to shove my rods inside you, Mr. Machine. Then give it an upgrade. And ooh, hello. All right, so then we just got to select our next milestone, which is the hub level two. So we need a load of rods ooh, and some iron plates. So I need 20 of each. I currently don't have enough iron. So I can either go back to the iron, give it a chip like that, and that gives me iron. But it's so slow. We need to automate this. So if we press Q, we now have a production tab. We can create various different things. So I want an equipment workshop, but I don't have enough parts. I need six iron plates and four iron rods. So I'll make six of those, however many of those. Then we can build this place. I'm going to rotate it like that, I guess. Now, what the frig oi ah what's that what's what's going on i'm being attacked what are you doing all right jab it in the ass jab it in the butt eat that you knob all right we got it that was absolutely terrifying i went flying why would you do that to me oh look hog remains okay we'll have some of those anyway now we have this we can create some equipment like a portable miner so we need iron plates and rods for those once again so that does involve a little bit of chipping like that a little bit of holding this button to create all the resources i need then we can build a portable miner so we'll hold that down and then oh now i've made two so if we come over to this iron node i'm pretty sure we can come over to this and then shove that on there and oh my goodness it's got legs it's got legs so, oh my god it's got eyes it's got eyes it's got 
What are they? Oh, now it's going to drill into there. Okay, so that is making me some iron now, I think. I hope. So can I shove... Can I shove another one down? Are you going to drill just like your little buddy? Yeah, I think you are. Okay, so then I can open these and... Yes, yeah, making 20 iron a minute. So grab all. Nice. Grab all from that one. We'll then create loads of ingots by holding this down. Create iron plates as well. And of course, the rod, the most strongest of all resources. And then suddenly we have enough to upgrade the hub thing. So we'll place those into there. Those into there. Upgrade the hub. And ooh. Oh, suddenly we're indoors. Oh, look how much of a building we've got now. So if we come around the back of this, we have a biomass burner. I believe that will create us energy. We just need to like pick up leaves. So if I just go around picking up every leaf in my path, we can then come over to this and say leaves go in there as fuel. Can I add wood as well? No, it's one or the other. Okay, leaves are in and then that will create power, but I have I have nothing that needs power yet. But in my builder, we've got loads of new stuff. We've got the smelter, which smelts ores into ingots. So I no, no longer need to hold that button down. Uh, we've also got power lines as well, because I imagine the smelter will need power. So in order to build a smelter, we need, I need one more rod, but then I need eight coppers. Now that was... That was wire. So I need copper ingot to create wire, which means I need to scan for copper. So where's the nearest copper, HUD? 150 meters this way. I tell you what, I'm going to come over here, grab the portable miner. I've picked that up now. So I'll leave one there. I'm going to take this one over to the, the nearest copper deposit. Unauthorized. What did that say? Did anyone see what that's? Ah, no. Where's my... Ah, I've lost my thing. Run. <laughs> Run up here. Run up here. Can he get me up here? Okay, I think I'm safe. I think I'm safe. Right, I need my I need my equipment in my hands. Right, you are a bit annoying. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you that, mate. You are not the friendliest little pig or hog, whatever you were. Oh, I can jump over it though. Okay, okay, okay. I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Now, I literally feel like I'm playing Tremors, the video game now. Like I'm hiding on rocks. Oh, I, <laughs> I thought it was going to get up for a sec. Get him in the butt. Get him in the butt. Nice. nice. Okay, what is this? What is this? Limestone. Oh, I think do we need this for concrete? I may as well may as well grab it while I'm here. That's the pure stuff gone. Then I can just shove a miner on there when we need it. But yeah, first, got to find the copper, which is over this way. Ah, there's another one of those things. Ah, there's a giant one there as well. I'm hiding up this tree. No, I'm not. Oh, no. I fell down a cliff. No, I didn't. Get back. Get back. Ah. All right, I want it to go off a cliff. No, it's not going to be off a cliff. No. Oh, there's another one down it. Oh, my goodness. I'm being swamped. I'm just trying to pill for your planet for its natural resources. Why is that so much to ask? All right, here we go. Here we go. It's going off. It went off the cliff. Okay, so I think they're all trapped down there now, so they can't hurt me from down there, I don't think. Uh, in the meantime, is this the copper? Yeah, this is the copper. Okay, we'll grab that and we'll shove the miner on there. So that should start getting me copper sorted. What is that? What are you, mate? Why is it like running away from me constantly? Hey, I just want to, I just want to see your face. I just want to see your that stupid bird. All right, we'll make copper ingots ourselves quick. I don't know why I said quick. It's not quick at all. I've been holding this for like a good minute now. Right, now we can make wire. So we'll make that wire. Then we'll make a few cables as well. So that uses two wires to make a cable. So that will probably do. Oh, and then it's literally dark. That's how long I was holding those buttons for. But now we can afford to make a smelter. So where do we want this to go? So it's got an in arrow on the right and an out on the left. So I guess we'll shove that there. I probably want another one for the copper, so we'll shove that over this way, I guess. There-ish. And to power them up, I'm going to need a power line, so I can go from that building and connect it straight to that, so that's good. And then do the same from this one. Oh no, but I actually need a power line for this. I'm missing concrete. How do I make concrete? Oh, according to this, concrete is the next hub upgrade, so let's select that. Then in the top right, you can see we need plates, rods, and copper. So I'll quickly make those in here. And then we can upgrade the hub again. So we'll just shove those in. Upgrade the hub. And oh, look, it's gained four. Well, I was going to say smiley faces. I guess just faces. They're not the smiliest of fellows. So now in here, I can make concrete out of that limestone I found earlier. And then I can connect power line from here. I'm going to have to go to a power pole, I think. So I'll shove a power pole, I don't know, like there. And then power from that into... Oh, I can't connect any more lines to this connection. Okay, okay. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. If I delete that power line... What are you doing, Mr. Whale thing? You're like, can I delete you? I can't delete him. I'm going to zap it in the leg. Oh no, it's running off. It's running off. But yeah, if I go from the power thing to this power pole, I can then connect to multiple things like that one over there. Sorted. So now my smelters will have power once I turn the power on, but they need, they need like an inlet and an outlet, which is where the conveyor belts come in. So how do we make a conveyor belt? Well, we need to upgrade our hub, of course, because that is where the conveyor belts are. So we need iron plates 
cables and concrete for that. So we'll select that milestone. Go empty the iron from this miner. Go see what the hell that is. That is a weird slug. So we'll pick that up. Oh, look, there's a red thing over there. Do I want the red thing? I'm scared about getting distracted in this game. Is that another slug? I think that's another slug. Now we're focusing. We're focusing on what we're doing at the moment. No guessing distracted today. 10 seconds later. Ah, what are these? Ah, they hurt me. They hurt me. Ow, ow. Ow, I don't know what that is. I don't know what happened. How do I even get in the jungle? What? <laughs> anyway, if I come over to this, in the smells for say make iron ingots, I can literally add a load of iron ore. And then it is constructing them, is it? Yeah, it is. Yes, yeah, so this is my power thing. I better add some more leaves to that. I have been picking up leaves as I go. So that's making me the iron stuff automatically. I can come and grab this limestone so I can make more concrete. Oh, and watch the sunrise in the distance. That's nice. I also need to grab my copper from this. Bite another one of these. Ready, ready. Huh. Oh, decent. And then I can tell this smelter to make some copper ingots. And then whilst they're both working away, it leaves me time to go and make some concrete by hand. Give me that concrete. All right, so then I can go grab the iron ingots, make a load of iron plates, go over to the copper one, grab all of those, make a load of wire, and make a load of cable. And then I can upgrade my hub again. So shovel those in there, upgrade the hub. And oh, look at this, look at this. I've got a ladder. I own a ladder. Okay, nice. Next up, I guess we look at the next hub upgrade. So we just need rods, cables, and concrete. Okay, that won't take long. So we grab iron ore from this thing, shove it in this thing, and then make a load of rods out of this thing. And then we do the same for the cable. Oh, I've realized we're just three short. Then run all the way to the copper mine, empty the miner, grab all. Thank you very much. And we head back to the smelter, which is there. Oh my goodness, that is a big drop. How do I not see that earlier? Shove the ore in, take the ingots out, make some copper wire, then the cables, then shove everything in this hub thing. So you go there, shove my rod in there, and then final upgrade. I don't know why I said final. It's probably not the final one at all. No, there's an upgrade six. So that needs pretty much the same things, just more of them. So I'll select milestone, but I think now in this builder we oh yes we can automate a lot of this so we actually have miners that we can put down and then conveyor belt between them how do i actually make conveyor belts they just cost iron plates there's also storage containers to store stuff as well okay got it got it so to start with can i use a constructor to actually make the plates yes i can but look at the resources i need that is a new one so if i come into this crafting bench what was it it was a reinforced iron plate i need screws for that how do i make Make screws. Three rods make a screw. So yeah, it makes sense because you want to use your rod to screw. Okay, yeah. So I'll make a load of screws, make a load of iron plates. And then if you screw some plates together, you get reinforced iron plates. So we'll make some of those. All right, so then we should be able to build a constructor. So if I shove this out the out the front of this one, so I guess we go like there. And I can use a conveyor belt to go from that over to this. So nice. Now we have the, the iron ingots coming out of there going straight into this. So if I configure this to make iron plates, you can then shove another pole down, connect from that one to there, and then from this one over to that. Then now that is doing some business. You can sort of see inside it's making it's making some good stuff. Let me know that new took my head off. So we've just automated the making of iron plates. So if I now take a conveyor belt out of here, we'll then be able to take these to somewhere. So you can see the iron plates. So I can either I can literally I can literally just pick them up like that or I can come over to this and I can just say, wait, give me all your iron plates. So that's good. That's one thing checked off. I'm also I'm going to need well, I'm going to need sort of everything. Uh, and I'm going to have to build like the actual mining machine there so I can just make that go straight into the back of this so that we have like the full production chain without me doing anything. So at the moment, I've got to carry stuff from this little miner to the smelter. But yeah, first off, let's make sure we are making concrete sort of efficiently. So we'll shove that on there. So that should mine in that. Then we can come to here. We can take some of the limestone out of that. Create concrete ourselves, but we won't be doing this for long. I will actually automate this. So constructor up this way. So you can be the concrete one. Make sure that's powered up. 
sorted. So then I can take the limestone out of this portable thing, shove it in there, and then we are making concrete automatically, sort of. I got to get the minor mark ones. And in order to get... Oh, I can actually... Oh, I could afford to do that. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. I will pick up you, Mr. Portable Miner. You lived a short life, but I didn't realize I could build one of these already. So I'll shove that there. Power up to that. So now that is going to make me some limestone. So if I just convey a belt from you into you, then limestone comes out of there, gets turned into concrete in there, sorted. So I'll do the same over this way. So if I grab this portable miner and all the stuff in it, can then build another one here. What way does that want to face over that way? Shove you into the back of that and connect you up with power. One of your power grids is shut down. No, have I run out of power? All right, pull this lever down. No, it's going off, I think, because our, our production is less than our capacity. So if I fill up this one as well, I can shove some wood in there. So this has leaves in it. So now if I turn it on, we should have... Oh, they're not connected together. Oh, so I actually need to... I need to literally connect it. Fair enough. Power line from there over to that. And now they're all connected, I think. So if I turn on both of them... Yes, now we have power. Okay, we do actually need to go around and collect loads more leaves and stuff, though. So I'll go do that. Leaf, 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 leaf. Leaf, 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 leaf. We can then fill up these with fuel. Right, and then we have done some automating already. Nice. Uh, the thing is, the concrete stops there. The, the steel plates stop there. I mean, there's not just steel plates to make either. Like, all of these standard parts and electronics could be be could be automated so maybe i should do that although maybe i should unlock the biomass and biomass burners before we get too far yeah okay we've got to focus on the hub upgrade so this constructor we've got loads of iron plates now can i change the recipe to iron rods yeah i think i can so i am gonna just automate the copper one just because i can't not automate everything at once so conveyor belt out the back of this so we'll then bring this over this dangerous dangerous gap oh and it looks like oh look i can like been oh i can rotate them i didn't realize i could do stuff like that okay that's cool so we want this to end up in there right conveyor belt is too long oh no we'll shove that there and then into that sorted so we'll shove that over there and into that so i think that's copper stuff automated now just got to work out why the power's gone out i think we've run out of wood okay so i need to do a lot more of this sort of stuff just picking up leaves hey, what, if these were tea leaves this would be a lot easier to put up with as it is kind of frustrating Right, this is probably enough deforesting for now. How much do we have? Only 12. Okay, say so what? We're not putting logs in there. We're going to put leaves. I've got loads of leaves. So leaves go in that one. Leaves also go in that one. And then we'll turn it on. And now we are cooking on gas. So do we have the 50 concrete? Not quite yet. Oh, yeah, we do. We do. So 50 concrete goes in. I just need a lot more of everything else. We're, yeah, we're, we're not very close yet. Still, I'm loving the layout of this place. Nice, nice and... Uh... <laughs> Makes a lot of sense, in my opinion. All right, what does this one make again? Is this the... Oh, yeah, look, oh, look at the line of copper. Look at all that copper ore coming straight into this. Decent. Yeah, I feel like it probably makes sense to do, like, quite long conveyor belts. Because then you're sort of storing more stuff before the, the machine in front tries to make it, if that makes sense. So what, though? What if I scan for more iron? I feel like I should probably set up another one. So there's iron 40 meters. Oh, it's literally... Oh, it's just here. How did I miss this before? Okay, so we'll pick up some plates from here, fresh off the press, and we can shove another miner on that. So then the miner's got to go to a smelter. So I might shove the smelter like down by this one, just so they're sort of close to each other. And I need conveyor out of that one down to that one. Of course, this needs power. So we'll... <laughs> <laughs> the amount of power lines already in a mess is not good. So then the iron ore comes down. The ingots should come out of this thing. So if I then build a constructor, I guess shove it somewhere in that place. And I can convey it out of here, come up to that one. And then one I can make iron plates, the other one I can make iron rods. All right, unfortunately, the power has gone out. Oh, it's just because we ran out of leaves. Okay, that's cool. Can fill that back up with leaves. And they're using up a lot of leaves. I should probably go on another little mission to go pick some. What is that? I hear, I hear something bad. This game reminds me of like Avatar. Like I'm just trying to pillage your 
planet. Why are you trying to attack me, natural animal thing? Oh, look, there's loads of there's loads of wood stuff on the floor. I, I feel like wood would be better fuel than leaves. So I'll pick up all that. All right, I've shoved wood in that one. That should last a lot longer than the leaves in the other one. Question is, can I build another constructor? Yeah, I do. I've got the resources. So I'll build it there. Shove that in like that. And then tell this to make wire. All right, the power's gone out because I've got too many machines going on. Can I turn any of these off? I think we've got enough iron plates. I'm going to turn that off. Okay, so now we've automated copper wire as well. So we should have everything we need in a bit. I mean, yeah, we're actually, we only need two more rods and then a few more, a few more of the copper wire. And then we can get better fuel. So I don't have to spend my life picking leaves. All right, so I worked through a night. We actually have everything unlocked now. So let's head to the hub. Let's say upgrade it. And then, right, we've got new buildings. We've got new parts. And, and, oh, hang on. What's that? What's that noise? Oh, what the, f where did you come from? What is that? So that just landed. Not entirely sure what it does, but in the hub, now we're on to tier one. We can actually choose what we want to focus on. So do we want like base building stuff? Do we want logistics? Ooh, splitters and mergers. I think I want that one. Or we can start researching. Uh, can we do the tier two stuff straight away as well? Because look, there's loads of stuff in there. Assemblers. That will allow us to get further as well as better conveyor belts and oh man, so much stuff. Yeah, I think we'll focus on logistics. Then out here, you'll notice I've started storing everything we have. So these are like storage modules. I know that space might get tight. So just like in London, where we started like building up because space is at a premium, I've started doing that. So we've got all of our various resources uh, going into different storage areas. And if I want them, there's like, there's ladders on the side. So I can literally, I just can't appear. I can be like, right, I want, I want whatever's up the top. And I get a lovely view from the top up here. So win-win for everyone. For now, though, we need to build some biomass burners. So I need some wire. So the wire goes up to that one. So I can literally just climb up the side here, take all the wire out, and then build a biomass burner. I guess I should probably build it down here just so they're all sort of in the same spot. So if I build that there, I can then give it some fuel and then connect this up so that's three things burning now so plenty of power we probably need to try and work out how to get the actual biomass fuel yeah so they they are in here so i can just put leaves or wood in and turn them into biomass or presumably could i make that yeah i could make a constructor that makes biomass saving me a job i might actually do that so constructor down here somewhere so i'll shove that there so this is going to be the biomass one so biomass probably leaves they're the easiest to come by so we go on a leaf picking adventure mm, lots of leaves yum 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 so then the leaves go into the constructor so 500 leaves in there and then that gets turned into biomass which presumably is a lot better for creating fuel right so then in order to store that biomass i'm gonna need conveyor belt coming out of here now i've sort of worked out you can be like you can sort of like draw these in like any shape you want which is very useful for getting like around all these objects but yeah annoyingly we can't actually convey this into the biomass things themselves so we do just have to go store it in here i guess so we'll just try and use everything we can to get the height that we need so we'll take it up to there ish and then oh actually before i go into that i should probably come down because i'm gonna be needing the biomass quite often so we'll just bring this over this way and you know, just down around here because then i can just shove it in that one sorted so then we should see the biomass blocks they're coming along here and then going into that storage and so yeah we've got quite a simple layout where we're now making biomass i mean i can i literally can just come along and like pick all these up because uh, i think our power has gone out no other conveyors are moving so i'll just follow this one back picking up everything on its way realize quite how far i actually took this conveyor belt then we're back down here and then we can start filling these with biomass and then we're up and running again nice all right so this has been running for a little while now i have a little rejig of everything so we should be storing everything we need so the copper is in that one so if i go up to this one press e that's all the copper we need and then we got all the plates so we're just waiting on the rods now and the rods go into this one here so we'll just wait for all of those to come up you can see there's actually quite a big space on the on the conveyors which means i can probably up 
production somehow. Whether that's just using like better machines or maybe I could just connect more machines and like merge them together. But uh, for now, for a first little episode, I think we've done pretty well. So if you want to see where this series takes us, be sure to sign up to my bonus videos on Patreon. I really hope they offer you great value and I'm really excited to take this risk and see where it goes. But for now, I'll say peace, love and spaghetti factories. Bye guys.